hello everyone so today i'm gonna work on this if i press e to collect this stone previously my character just collect it without turning into that object now if i press e first character turns into that object and collect it so here is it again right so this is what i am going to work on today character turn towards that object that the character need to collect and collect it and this episode is sponsored by this generous patron thank you very much for your support okay so today i want to fix some issue that i have in here so for example if i want to pick up this item you can see the character just play the pick up item animation and the item goes to the hand instead of happening that i need the character to turn uh, towards the item and pick it up so let's see how to do that first i'll open this interactable item blueprint this is the base blueprint base blueprint of the interact all of all of these interactable items and here we have this start interaction so here uh, let's go to this take object here what we do is we simply um, play the animation but I think yeah, we can get the interacting character and the location. Also from this object mesh, we can get world location. From this tool, we can do a find look at rotation and here we only need to change the u value of the character then in the interacting character get root component and we can do maybe while playing this montage We can do uh, all component. Here for now, I wouldn't change the location or rotation. Actually, I think it would be better if we do this in a separate event because we will be able. Then we will be able to reuse it in other places. So let me copy this and delete. Mm, right, let's implement this inside the character as a event. Let me open the character blueprint and go to the base character. Here. Yeah. Let's implement it through this VPI character and turn to here as an input. I'll add the location target Let's implement it now. Uh, we get the target location. Also, we can get that location. And using this tool, we can find locat rotation.
then what you need to do is turn in the character into that direction so you can call more component on the the reason to use this instead of just setting the rotation is we need some smooth rotation not just some snapping effect and i'm go i'm only going to use this your component that's because i only need the character to turn around the z axis around the up axis not around any other axis so location I don't need to change so I'll give this same location so only the rotation needs to be changed for this I'll use like 0.4 okay and then here in the interactable object and the take object here I'll call on the interacting character Yes. Get reference here. Turn to. And as the target, I'll give this object mesh location. this is the BP interactable I'm not sure if I override this start interaction function for this other objects let's see yes I have so here also we have to call the same thing let me just go here and copy this part because this health pack is also a child class of the interactable object it has this same uh, object mesh and interacting actor components so we can copy paste it without any issue okay now let's see if the character turns it does see even if let me just look away right now character turns but still the character's hand is not reaching the exact point but that's I think that's okay because if we do that too either we will have to move the character towards that object and it will actually I don't think that is not necessary I don't think that is necessary but uh, why don't we just test it and see let's say uh, here instead of giving the current location we can get the target location or we can get a direction vector get unit direction vector from this object to the current location of the character then what's the distance the character and the object should have in order to properly reach that location I'm not sure so let me break this vector so let's say let's multiply this by let's say 30 units and then add to the target location so this will give us a point that is uh, 30 units in distance 30 units in the direction of the current location of the interacting character in this case this uh, third person character then yeah the result of this then let's uh, uh, 
we don't need to change the z location yeah let's break sorry make this make vector and split uh, the reason I'm not changing the, the z location is we don't need to character to move up or down so I'm gonna keep the same z location the character has and change only x and y component so now we might see some sliding of the character on the ground I think that distances may cause the character to overlap. That's why it is snap back. Let's try six. That seems fine. okay all right so i'm going to stop this episode right here and as always project files will be available for the download in the patron page link would be in the description below and if you like to support my work you can get the membership of the patron club see you in another episode goodbye